Come on in, come on in, come on in. All geeks are welcome in this space. Let's learn together and seek his face. I'm Lem Phil, y'all, a.k.a. Bad Gamer Elite, your host for this Sound Maiden podcast sponsored by LifePromotions.org. God Games and Geekery gives us an opportunity every month to chat about the crossroads of our passions and our faith. I can't wait to learn and discuss with you. Hey guys, welcome to the 42nd episode of God Games and Geekery. And you've probably already noticed there's been a little bit of a format change. Yeah, the opening's been the same, but you know, we're we're gonna be it's gonna be more discussion and kind of a little back and forth, hopefully a little back and forth between myself and some guests and in some forms and ways, you. Guys, I've been doing a lot more gaming, purposeful gaming. And, and what that means is I've been paying attention to how much time I'm playing games and then specifically paying attention to what games I'm playing, not just kind of going willy-nilly uh, everywhere. Uh, so lately, I've been playing a lot of Fortnite. And... Um, not just playing the actual game, which I'm stoked about, but actually building in Fortnite. Not in the game where, you know, you build your structures and everything, but building actual maps. I actually have a map that has 18 different scenes, or I'm calling them photo booths, ranging in very small size to huge multi-level sizes so I can do game photography. You guys know I love game photography. So I've been doing that. Uh, I've been playing Lego Marvel's Avengers. And wow, I did not expect to love this game as much as I do. But I'm playing it uh, once a week for a couple hours. And man, it's funny. It's witty. It gives me the whole Marvel feels. And I'm, I'm not even through the first movie. They go through a lot of stuff in that game. And I picked it up on PC, which... I've been playing more PC games, um, and boy, oh boy, let me tell you, let me tell you, I'm a Lego guy. I did not know that I was a Lego guy. So already, two epiphanies, I'm a Fortnite guy, and I'm a Lego guy. And then I've also been uh, playing uh, Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales. Now, that game is just pure fun. If you have not had the chance to do that, I'm telling you, go, give it a try. Check it out. It's a blast. The, uh, the, the, the control and the combat, and then, of course, they have a photo mode, which in a two-hour period, I, I, I've been giving myself two hours to play games, and uh, in a two-hour period, I maybe take an hour and a half in gameplay and not even story gameplay. It's like side missions and and then a half an hour in photos. So it's oh it's it's so good. Um I've been getting back into audiobooks. I don't know you know if you guys have heard of Audible. <laughs> You've all heard of Audible. But if you haven't, it's an audiobook service. And I've been listening to uh the Artemis Fowl series. It's a young adult series but that's what i get into i love the uh, i love the 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 fantasy and sci-fi it's a great blend if you haven't read the artemis fowl series or heard of it or go check out a, a good introduction to it would be the artemis fowl movie on disney plus check that out the books are about thirty thousand times better so go check those out um and uh i've uh i've also Okay, let me admit this right now, you guys, I have been learning TikTok. <laughs> guys, I've been learning TikTok, and I've come to the realization that TikTok is dope. <laughs> Seriously, um, at the first couple of days of it, it, it's it's rough. It's rough. You're getting all the dances, all the trends, all that stuff, and that that's not great. But the algorithm starts to learn what you like, and it starts to give you that content. And I have found some amazing, just positive people. I found uh, geeky preachers and geeky pastors and geeky christians that are they're, they're like us it's so great 
So I encourage you to go check out TikTok. Um, I'm on there as Bad Gamer Elite. Uh, there's a God Games and Geekery one. There's a Life Fest one. There's a Quake one. Oh my gosh. Uh, we'll I'll, maybe maybe we'll get it in notes somehow. Maybe we'll put it in notes. All that good stuff. But I've also started bullet journaling. Now this has changed my life. If you've never heard of bullet journaling, let me explain it to you real quick. It's lists and prioritizing. And also putting in a book, how you feel about all that stuff. And it's it's so good. It has helped me achieve so much. I don't understand it, but it has helped. I mean, I don't understand why, but it has helped. And it's been it's been so good, you guys. I don't know about you, but I was resistant to a lot of these things. Um the Lego games, I knew they were fun, but they, I didn't think that, you know, they were for me. Fortnite, for sure. Really getting back into books, a uh, uh, reading of, of any type. TikTok, oh my gosh. There was no way I was going to do TikTok. I was just being stubborn. Um, stubborn like a mule or a donkey. Have you guys ever been called a mule or a donkey or stubborn like that? How'd you take it? How would you take being called a donkey? Or maybe you were called something else. And uh, in a way that I, I won't be saying here. <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but I want you to think about that. And uh, I want to make sure that we get in a discussion with some of our friends this week. Um, uh, at least one. And he's been on before. Let's have a quick discussion with Lucas. Hey, and we're back with Lucas. What's up, Lucas? Hey, bad gamer. How you doing, sir? I'm doing all right. Hey, Thanatos Angelos, guys. If you're ever on our streams, you know this voice. You love this voice. Hey, <laughs> Lucas. Yo. Tell me a little tell me tell us about yourself. Now, if you haven't gone back and listened to the hour episode that we had, because we did have an, an hour episode. For those that weren't that haven't seen it yet, tell us a little about yourself. Yeah, um, my name's Lucas. As you know, I go online by the handle Thanatos Angelos. Um, little Koine Greek Death Angel syntax is not correct at all, but you know what? Everyone can buzz off. Uh, yeah, and uh, <laughs> I love playing video games. I'm a bit of a nerd. I love the sport of hockey. Um, currently, uh, work for Life Promotions, doing Quake events. These are youth events we do around the nation. This year, notwithstanding, we're doing a virtual event this year. And I've been a youth pastor. I love students, believe in the next generation, and want them to have the hope of Jesus uh, to you know, help them become everything that Jesus have, have, has created them to be. Nice. That's awesome, dude. So what, uh, what, what have you been into? What have you been watching? What have you been playing? What have you been doing lately? Yeah, so I am in the middle of WandaVision. I haven't finished it yet. I, I'm sure by the time this releases, I'll be up to date. So I hope really so, dude. Enjoying... <laughs> um, I'm watching it with my girlfriend. Uh, I don't want to because I, I watch, I binge a little bit better than she does. She's a little bit better at life than I am. <laughs> and uh, so I'm not there yet, but yeah, watching the MCU uh, or what I can of it, and that's WandaVision right now. Uh, I'm enjoying it. I know some people are, aren't happy with it, but I, I do enjoy it. And uh, gaming-wise, I have taken on a new mission to get all of the achievements from Halo, the Master Chief Collection, what? and that is awful, and I might give up on it before <laughs> I start. <laughs> well, hold on, hold on, hold on. How how close are you to getting it? Not even almost close. I was scrolling through the achievements. I've got 1,125 or so out of 7,000 points. Oh, wow. Now, yeah, it's going to take a minute. What about some incentive? How... Uh... How close are you to Micah? <laughs> small Genie in Gamer Score. So Small Genie has surpassed me. He is the champion right now. He is nine years younger than me, and he's got more achievement points than I do. And the, and he would admit he was not even achievement hunting before he met me, and it was me that inspired him to uh, up the rage uh, meet on <laughs> achievement hunting. And so he he passed me simply because I existed. So oh, thanks to that. Thanks, man. Thanks to you, Small Gina. Small genie. Okay, so he's nine years younger. He so you have nine years more experience in getting gamer score. For those of you who don't have Xbox, your gamer score from your Xbox and 360 carry over, right? 
Yeah, so this is from my 360 through my Xbox One and now into my Series X. <laughs> and Micah has just taken the task on me. I uh, I giggle because I am not a trophy hunter. I'm not an achievement hunter. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm all, I'm all good with that, man. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, uh, I'm a little embarrassed right now, and so I may give up on it. I may pretend like I just enjoy video games for the sake of enjoying them from now on, ooh, just so I don't have to that's feel n- bad about that's new. getting beat up by Micah. Right, right. <laughs> just like I was when I was a kid, just playing it for the love of the game. Uh nice. So, Lucas, we've been talking about um we've been talking about being a donkey for Jesus. You know, um, and you know, after after we're done, I'm gonna I want to talk more about that and what that what that actually might look like. But when you hear being a donkey for Jesus, what what first what what bring comes to mind? Yeah, I think the big thing is the lowly position we assign a donkey. Right, a donkey is you know not not as great as a horse or or a pony or whatever. Um, it's just a it's a working animal. Yeah. And so my first thought of being a donkey for Jesus is, you know, yeah, uh, sometimes we want the glory and the glam, but sometimes all we can do is like, all right, God, use me however you want to use me, however you can use me. I want to be there for you. And in the donkey's case, it was to carry Jesus on on uh, Palm Sunday. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So what what can you give me an example of what that might look like in your life or ha- has yeah. it looked like in your life? For sure. One of the big things for me as a youth pastor was telling was telling students to to live their life out as God has called them, their, their passions, their desires. Um, those are the things that allow that that God instilled in them, really, and to chase them and do those to the glory of God. I know when I was a student, some of the youth pastors were talking about how you got to give up it all for Jesus. You know, you give up basketball and give up hockey and give up video games and give it all to Jesus. And I really think, you know, that we should be doing these things for Jesus. Just as the donkey's effort was to be a workhorse for Jesus that day, I think we all ought to be a uh, workhorse for Jesus in the way he's created us. One of my favorite ways is the God Games and Geekery ministry that you've started, Lem, in that you're playing video games for Jesus. A lot of people don't think you can do that. You can't honor God in those ways. And so watching you blossom and grow this ministry from your vision and your heart uh, is being a donkey for Jesus, right? The things that God has wired you, Lem, bad gamer, is video games. And God is using this as a platform to allow you to preach his word to people around. And so for me, God Games and Geekery is exactly being a donkey for Jesus. Oh, snap. Look at you just turn that around. I did not expect what this is not rehearsed at all, folks, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> at all. He just came out with that. That was dope. Oh, man. All right. So... W- God, now I'm flustered. <laughs> well, I think for I think for all of us, and, it, and it's not the same for everybody, right? In the same way that not everyone is a video gameographer or a video game player, you can tell Jesus and how you work, where you work. You can tell Jesus to your friends about where you're going to school in your everyday interactions, how you live your life. And so uh, how God wired you is, I think, the most important way uh, that we can be a donkey for Jesus. I remember specifically in college, um, there was a guy at our church that hired me to be a roofer for the summer to help pay my college bills. And uh, let me tell you, uh, that is a big boy business, and I was not cut out for it. Uh, and I just remember thinking, like, I can't do this. I literally can't do this. And we put so much effort and praise on, like, man, if you're called to ministry, that's the most important calling that you can have on your life. But the truth is the most important calling you can have in your life is the one that Jesus called you to. Uh, because only you can do what God has called you to do and nobody else. Oh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Hey, Lucas, where can people find you? Let, let's say that they love what they're hearing from you. They love the sound of your voice. They want to keep up with you. Where can they find you? Uh, most importantly, you can find me with my friend, Bad Gamer Elite. We've got Small <laughs> Genie sometimes. We've got Vetstone. Uh, we uh, We stream. Video games, talk about Jesus Thursdays on the God Games and Geekery channel on twitch.tv. Would love for you to come hang out there. Also, uh, you can hit me up on Twitter, although admittedly I'm not on Twitter as much as uh, I ought to be, but L Tuttle, T U T T L E 13 is my handle, L Tuttle 13. Yeah, man. And if you follow us on Twitter, uh, I tag him quite a bit. So 
It's easy, easy yeah. to find. <laughs> I try to like them so uh, people know that I'm alive. <laughs> hey, Lucas, thanks a lot, buddy. I appreciate you. Remember, you're geeky. You're loved. All right, you guys. So as I said before, I've been playing a ton of Fortnite. And uh, I've been playing with Spencer Stapleton. He's the host of Fort of Nerditude. And Spencer was extremely focused on that win. And I'm very much taking in the area, you know, looking around. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, look, they they put butterflies over here. I didn't know that they could put moss on that thing, you know. So that's me. So I am very much trusting Spencer to lead and coordinate for the victory. Um, I'm just a one of the tools to help guide or to, to help. Spencer get that victory or help the team get the victory where, you know, like I said, Spencer is out there. Let's go. We need to go this way. Oh my goodness. The storm is coming that way. Um, make sure you keep moving. Uh, so I am just one of the team, a tool, if you will, to help get that victory. Um, the Bible says in Mark chapter 11, verse one through six. And when they drew near to Jerusalem, to Bethphage and Bethany near Mount of Olives, he sent forth two of his disciples and says to them, go to the village before you. And immediately while proceeding into it, you'll find a colt have being tied on which none of mankind yet set. Untie it and bring it. And someone says to you, what, why are you doing this? Say the Lord has a need of it. And immediately he sent back to get it here. And they went, found a colt, having tied to a door outside on the street and then untied it. And some of the ones standing the, standing there were saying to them, what are you doing untying that colt? But the one spoke to them and said, just as Jesus spoke, and they permitted them. And they brought the colt to Jesus. All right. Now, let's check this out. Guys, we need to be aware of our roles, right? The donkey was unaware of his role. It's a young, you know, it's, even if, even if it was a full grown donkey who had been used so many times, they know their role. It was a young donkey, right? The owner was only slightly aware of his role, right? The, the, the disciples came to them and said, Hey, Jesus needs it. And we, if anybody who's anybody had heard of Jesus, they're like, Oh, Okay. You know, there's some people that spin it that Jesus sent his disciples to steal a donkey. Well, I think there would have been a little bit more uproar. Like they would have, they went and got it and they were like, what's going on? Right. And the, the owners or the people that are standing there said, what's going on? The disciples are like, hey, Jesus needs this. Okay. And so we don't, we, it's not in scripture, that whole conversation, but that's how I kind of imagine that it went. And the disciples they knew slightly more. And Jesus, Jesus knew how important this cult, this young donkey was to what he needed to have done. There was a lot of trust involved. The disciples had trusted Jesus. The owners had trusted the disciples. The donkey trusted the owners that they would always protect them. That if some stranger came along to untie them that they would be okay with it that it would be a good stranger to be around that donkey trusted guys sometimes god is calling us to do something and we can't fathom why why do i need to do that jesus why hey you know what be a donkey for jesus guys just trust just trust all right guys well I can't, I, I can't wait to hear what you think about this new format, this new whole 20-ish minutes of a format. I just want to remind you that Tuesdays are out on Twitch, but Thursdays, right now, Thursdays, 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. on twitch.tv slash God Games and Geekery, spell it all out, God Games and Geekery. You can find me and my buddy Lucas, who we just met, and and Micah and and Brian and sometimes and some sometimes some other folks. Uh, you can find us hanging out, talking about Jesus, headshot noobs. We invite you to come hang out. 
And sometimes you can even join us. There are some games that we encourage you to join us with. Uh, we just found out how to do custom 100 person uh, Fortnite stuff. <laughs> so come on, let's go do the thing. Uh, you could also find us on Twitter as God Games Geekery, Instagram as God Games Geekery. If you want to reach out to me, if you've got questions about anything that we do uh, at God Games and Geekery, you can reach me at badgamer at lifepromotions.org. That's badgamer at lifepromotions.org. If you're listening on Apple Podcasts, after this is done, listen to a couple of the up other episodes and then rate us and write a review. Let us know how we're doing with your trust. Thank you again for listening, guys. This has been fan. Fantastic. And as always, remember, you are geeky, you are loved. Peace. Peace.